So good morning. I hope that everyone is doing good on the OMAD challenge. I woke up this morning with cramps in my lower calf, so I had some Baker's Unsweetened 100% Cocoa. This is very, very good um, for the cramps. That let me know that I was um, deficient in a little bit of magnesium or potassium. So also I had my chicken broth early this morning. And I added some other little things into that, like some uh, rosemary, turmeric, cayenne pepper, um, just some other good things to make it really taste good so that I could start replenishing my electrolytes early this morning. So you guys, this is my breakfast this morning, and this is a breakfast of leftovers. So I added some slices of tomato, have some harissma spice sauce, half an avocado with an egg, have the rest of my spinach with garlic, um, with a small turkey neck. Um, that's with the collard greens from the restaurant. Comfort zone. Make sure you go by and pick up some. Here I have uh, three small sliced strawberries. Have the rest of my last uh, piece of leftover salmon with my spinach keto gravy. Three pieces of bacon. And then I also have a bowl of chili um, with some cheese on it. Let me get a picture of that also. And this, you guys, is my chili from my keto chili meal prep that I made. So that's what I'm getting ready to start with. I didn't have any sour cream or onions or anything extra. So this is how I'm eating it. And it's good just like this. You guys, I thought about eating this chili all night long. I couldn't wait to get up this morning to have a bowl of it. This is part of my meal prep for this week. And the meal was so delicious. However, I wasn't able to eat everything. I do aim to eat everything. But I wasn't able to finish my bacon or my salmon. So I put that back. Because I wanted to finish that whole bowl of chili. It was so, so good. <laughs> I wanted to taste the salt and vinegar and no, pork no. rinds, you guys, also. They were delicious. I mean, the flavor is superb. It's great. I'm going to have some of these tomorrow with my meal. I just wanted to taste a couple of those with my meal today. Hey. <clears throat> hey, so I'm getting ready to give my carb manager uh, review for today on oh, my food and you can see i'm already ready for the bed i had a long day today so i had dinner today about two o'clock p.m about the same time i did the 23 hour fast um now i was wanting to eat chili so bad today so that that's mainly what my meal consisted of i started with my chili first because i wanted to make sure that i ate that and i had about a one bowl and a quarter of chili and that was eight uh, net carbs for that much chili 446 calories you guys but it was so good it was very well worth it to my chili i added a little bit of uh, natural sharp cheddar cheese and i only added about half an ounce not quite an ounce um, and that was one gram uh, 56 calories um, i ate one and a half slices of bacon, the rest of the bacon I ended up putting back for tomorrow. And that was 56 calories, no carbs. I had one hard boiled egg today and that was 78 calories because it was a large egg and that was one, um, said that it's one carb. You know, normally eggs really don't have any carbs, it's less than a carb. Um, avocado, I had half a black skin avocado today, 114 calories one gram of carbohydrates. I also had um, the rest of my spinach that was cooked with some uh, garlic in it and a little bit of butter. I put half a cup, but it wasn't really quite half a cup. So it was 21 calories and one gram of carbohydrates. I also had my fresh strawberries again, three small uh, strawberries sliced up and that was seven uh, calories and one gram of carbohydrates. 
Also, I had my tomato. I love tomato slices. So I sliced up half a Roma tomato, which was five calories and one gram of carbohydrates. Um, I had some, I put the keto soul food collard greens, but I had collard greens from the restaurant. And as you see, it was just a very few. So I put it with maybe two to three ounces, which gave me about five uh, grams of carbohydrates, uh, 153 calories, somewhere around there. I had my Jello, my Ramundo's uh, sugar-free tropical gel snack, um, which was less than, uh, which was, well, which was five calories and no carbohydrates. And then uh, I had... Um, one um, bar of the Baker's Unsweetened Chocolate 100% Cocoa. And I had one piece, and one piece is one carbohydrate with 35 uh, calories. Now today my total calories was 1,103 calories. So that's a little bit closer to the 1,200 because that's what I'm working on getting. And I had 19 grams of carbohydrates. So, you know... I did really, really well today, and I had 1,095 worth of calories that I burned. So, you see, I did very, very well on the ketogenic diet, and I didn't get all my steps in. looks like I got about uh, 5,600, so, you know, that's good enough. Um, like I said, I had dinner at 2 o'clock. And I believe that I overate today. That's what I wrote in my notes. Because after I ate today, I felt stuffed. I felt really, really stuffed. But um, everything worked out on my um, macros. As far as my macros went, I had 8% of net carbs, which was 19 grams of carbohydrates. I had 61% worth of fat, um, 62 grams. And like I said, I don't aim to eat the fat because I want uh, my body to use the fat I have on my body for its energy and fuel. And then I had 31% uh, worth of protein. So I, my protein, I went a little bit over today. I did because normally I don't eat more than 20 or 25% worth of protein. So today I went a little bit over. But that's how my day went today. Um, I got closer to my calorie intake like I want to, and um, I drank plenty of liquids. I drank water today. Um, I drank chicken broth, uh, several cups of chicken broth today. Um, let's see, and I had tea. So those were my main drinks today that I had. And then um, my I did a little exercise today. I did... Um, weights some weight lifting today I'm working on my bat wings i'm still working on my bat wings and on my arms and i did a few squats and a few lunges so i want to say i hope that you all are doing well on the OMAD diet that you are being able to stick to the diet um i really feel good this is the third day of the OMAD diet and um you know, I fast almost all the time anyway, intermittent fasting. Some days I do OMAD, but then a lot of the days I do two meals. And I do it within an eight-hour window. I usually do 16 and 8 um, intermittent fasting, sometimes 18 and 6. Um, but it's not that I do the OMAD, uh, the 23 and 1, an awfully lot. So I'm very, um, like I say, very anxious to see what type of results I'll have at the end of my seven-day window as far as uh, the challenge. Now, this challenge is going to more than likely continue until all through next week. It's going to continue um, for the rest of this month and maybe also for the part of December because fasting is um, really beneficial for you. Um, if you're fasting, um, you're going to have a longer time that your body is going to be in ketosis, so you're going to burn more fat. And also your body is going to go through a process called autophagy, and that's where your um, old cells are being replaced by new cells. Be, your old cells are being cleaned out of your body, and your cells are regenerating. So this is something... Um, one of the great, great benefits that you get on the ketogenic diet. And while your body's 
uh, you know, doing autophagy, it has many benefits. You'll start to look younger. Your skin will get better. It helps with acne. Um, you start having more energy. Um, autophagy, um, it has a lot of health benefits. Now, autophagy usually occurs during the hours that you sleep. So make sure that you try to get you some good sleep because you want to get these good, good benefits. But this is Keto Granny. And like I say, I had a good day again today. I have my bottle of water right here by the bed. I usually keep a bottle of water so that if I wake up through the night, um, I can have a, a drink of water. Um, just want to remind you to stay um, uh, hydrated. Make sure you're drinking enough liquids. And um, talk to you tomorrow. Good night. If you have enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe box below and that way you won't miss any videos that I make or share. Thank you.